Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a character from an 80s movie called Pretty in Pink. It's played by Molly Ringwald, and her name is Andy, I believe, in the movie. So I'm working with an Ashlyn Ella doll, because I thought the face shape was pretty similar. She had um, larger lips that I could kind of make look similar to Molly Ringwald's. This is kind of just my interpretation of the character. I did a sketch or an art piece of uh, the character for a convention and I thought well let me just do the doll as well. I really liked the movie and it was just really fun. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this doll she should be available by the time this video is up in my shop the in Etsy. The link is in the description box below. So like I said, I'm working with an Ashlyn Ella, and her skin tone's a little bit darker than the characters, but um, I gave her some highlights and uh, it helped a little bit. I didn't really mind the difference. Like I said, it's just kind of my interpretation of the character. So I'm giving her eyes a little bit more uh, smaller, almond-shaped, a little bit more uh, similar to kind of like Cindy Lauper, the Cindy Lauper dolls that I do. If you're a supporter over on Patreon, I have a video where I do the tear duct and water line in live or in close up and real time where I talk through doing that. So um, that should be helpful to those who are interested in learning, as well as a lot of the other, a lot of other video clips and things that I'm putting up on there. So check out my Patreon uh, in the link below. So like I said, I'm adding some of this white pan pastel, or I think it's like kind of a mix of peach and white that I'm just kind of toning down that tan and adding some more white in the areas where I would want some highlights under the eyes and on the forehead. Then I'm going in with a custom mix of the pan pastel that I made with a terracotta or burnt sienna color and peach and going back in and darkening up the eyelids and around the nose and so forth. The supplies that I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links if you're interested in purchasing anything from there. So for the lips, I'm using a pink color that I made with mixing a few different colors of the Pan Pastels. And I'm using a tiny round brush that I cut down to make it into like a stencil brush so I can add the color a little bit easier. And once I add the pastels, then I go back and refine it a little bit with this crimson, I think it's called Crimson Lake Derwent Watercolor Pencil. If you guys haven't already, check out my uh, videos that I made recently on q and I will be making some more, but I have made two videos where I answer your questions, and I think there's some helpful information in there for those who are looking to learn how to do customization. I'll put the, uh, the first one in the iCard. So I'm still just shaping up the lips and then I like to leave, as usual, a little bit of white on the center of the bottom lip to give it a bit of a highlight. And then I'm going in with black on the corners of the mouth to just kind of shape up where I want the smile line to be. And it just kind of helps with the shape of the lips. I wanted to make it look like her lips were slightly open in the center, so I darkened up there. And just kind of shaped it out to into the shape of Andy's lip, or Molly Ringwald's lips. At this point I would have given a, another couple of coats of Mr. Super Clear, so I can go back in and add a second layer to the eyes, and now I'm highlighting with a Derwent watercolor pencil in white.
One of my most commonly asked questions is what pencils do I like to use and Derwent is usually my go-to. Um, but I've recently started using Arteza and it has it definitely has its benefits. In some ways I like my Derwent's best and I still use them most often, but I'm finding myself more and more often using the Arteza because there's such a wide variety of color and they do work really well. I have a review video. If you haven't seen that, check that out. And there's also affiliate links in the for Arteza in the the description box below where um, if you purchase from there I do get a small commission for those uh, purchases. So I'm using a burnt sienna color that uh, gives sort of like an orangey coppery color that will match the her hair a little bit so now I'm shaping it up with this Faber-Castell sharpenable eraser and just going back in with a darker color brown of pan pastel and then blending out the center of them with some uh, peach pastel to, to kind of tone it down a little bit. And now I'm going back with a terracotta Derwent watercolor pencil to add the individual hairs and give it some shape. adding some highlights and I like to blend out any sharp lines with a q-tip and then I decided to have her eyes uh, look to the side so she's kind of glancing to the right and I usually don't have this decided until the time that I am actually going to draw them whether she's going to be looking forward or to the side and usually it works out pretty well. Just kind of want to kind of feel it out like it I it doesn't I can't I can't really tell how I want her to be looking what direction until I get to that point it just that's when I know okay this this doll needs to be looking to the right to the forward or whatever. So I'm using some brown to outline the eye and then I'm just kind of shading it in. And also, again, if you're a supporter over on Patreon for the May close-up clip, or I'm sorry, the June close-up clip, uh, I did a video where in real time I talk through drawing the iris, how I do that. So if you're interested in seeing that and you're not a patron, check that out in the link below. And for pa speaking of patron, I'll be doing a, a video for June for, um, I do a close-up clip, at least one close-up clip, along with some other tips and tricks, and then one game changer. And my game changer for the month of June will be a... Uh, uh, several like a 20 slide presentation on how I price my dolls along with a uh, downloadable spreadsheet with um, with also with uh, example pricing so if you're a doll customizer and you're looking to find information on how to price your dolls that's a good option for you there I'm doing everything that I can, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm doing everything that I can to help those in my Patreon uh, who are supporters on Patreon to learn how to customize dolls and it's been going very well and it's been a lot of fun. So I'm using a uh, Faber-Castell art, art grip to do some fine line work in the iris. 
and using a black derwent to do the pupil. Like I said, I'll be doing some more Q&A videos, so if you have any questions, put those in the comment section below. Here I'm going in and adding some eyelashes. And like I said, this doll will be available for purchase. If you are interested, check out the link below for my Etsy shop. It, which it should be in there by the time this video is uploaded. So I hope everybody's having a great day and if you enjoyed this video I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for the final photos of the final look for this doll and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!